Okay, so today we're going to speak about step three of this uh, side hustle, um, affiliate side hustle strategy. So far you've gone through, you've learned the why and the how with the affiliate boot camp. Uh, you've gotten your 14 day free trial of ClickFunnels um, and you've uh, hopefully gotten your couple of, copy of this exact funnel, the one that, uh, that I use, the one that uh, my business runs with and that uh, I've shared with you. And if you haven't done that already, go back to uh, you know, step one and uh, get yourself a ClickFunnels account and step two and get yourself the actual, um, the actual funnel. So today what I want to talk about is step three. On, and how to edit this funnel to personalize it, make it yours if you want to swap out videos or if you want to change colors or anything like that. So when we get into um, the funnel section uh, of ClickFunnels, what we're going to see is we're going to see something like this. And it's going to have the two different funnels, uh, give you both options. Uh, what I want you to look at first is this, uh, this opt-in page. And we're going to just simply click on edit page. And it's going to load the editor, and what it's going to basically allow you to do is you can change the background picture, um, you know, through just going over here in settings and changing background. And you'll, you know, it's real simple. You find the background image that you want, and you know, you can have a lot of different choices from there. Um, if you want to, uh, let's go back here. Sorry. Um, if you want to go ahead and change any of the text, it's simple. Uh, you know, plug and play. You just go ahead and you know change in and say you know free you know funnel or uh, funnel reveals how to earn blah blah blah. Or if you want to change the colors, you know, really what you can do is you go into the settings and you can change the bold color or the text color. Um, basically, every step of the way. Um, you have this whole, whole uh, you know, green section, which is going to be your columns. Um, this this uh, blue is going to be your rows, and the orange is going to be your uh, your section elements. Um, you can change the pop-ups. You can insert new elements, um, whether you want to put in an image, a video, a pop-up, audio player. Um, if you want to put in new headlines, paragraphs, bullet lists. If you want to increase, you know, put in bullets, um, you know, countdown timers. Um, you know, a lot of cool things that you can just simply as, as easily as just entering that, you know, that little button. Um, it's, uh, you know, just click on it and hey, let's do Facebook comments. Um, it's a very simple plug and play system. And again, you have the ability to change all of them. And then if, you know, you want to preview it, it just gives you a simple, you know, how does it look and, uh, you know, done for you button. So that's the first thing that we want to do. Uh, and I'm not going to save those because I want to keep my original. And then what we want to do is once we've decided how we want to edit and share or, or save um, the, uh, the side hustle opt-in um, or change the name, name of it, we can go ahead and uh, do that in that section. So to go to the funnel itself, we're going to go ahead and uh, again, click that edit page button. And again, we have the ability to change literally everything on this page. So the simplest and easiest way to do that is to, again, click on it. And here's the key to making money. Um, what, what you need to do is the first thing, go into step one, and you're going to need to edit the uh, set action. So again, here's the text on that button. And the action on that button actually takes you to a um, certain URL. Now you're going to want to change this URL to make sure it's your affiliate code, not mine. Otherwise, every time somebody clicks on it, I'm going to make money, um, which is all fine and dandy for me. But the whole point of this is for you to make money and continue to do this over time. So um, I want you to be able to do that. Um, you can also edit what you know what the the action is. Do they open up in a new window or the same window? Um, you can change that. Um, so the first thing we want to do is make sure you go change that. Um, the second thing you want to do is you want to make sure that it's your funnel, the edited funnel. So once you're done editing this um, and you save it, what you want to do is you actually want to go in and make sure that that is your funnel URL that you're doing, not mine. Um, and it should automatically populate this properly, but you want to just double check and make sure you change that out. Um, and again, going through every single step of the way, what you want to do is just look and make sure that you know anything that you want edited, um, and we'll get into the uh, Udemy account later, but you want to make sure you put in your information there as well. Um, 
And at the uh, the bottom here, there's one last thing that you want to focus on again is another um, free trial uh, you know button that you want to make sure that you uh, edit. So one thing I want to do is I want to make sure it's very clear to people that it's risk free. So I will uh, actually save this. Um, but really what we want to do, and I'm going to change the color, which is as simple as changing the color to an orange. I happen to like orange a little bit more. Um, if you want to change uh, you know, who and what uh, or anything like that, we want to make sure we change all those things. Now, before we leave, I want to show you how to um, add your own video. So again, if you want to change and record your own video, kind of like what I've done here, uh, basically you just have to record a video. Uh, and it can do anything or say anything. And there's a couple different options. You can custom do a custom embed. Uh, you can use Vimeo, Wistia. I use uh, YouTube, but you know you can use a lot of different things. And then you know if you uh, you know are using different um, you know uh, sources, it'll it'll have different uh, information that you can use. But for me, you know it gives you different options whether you want to autoplay when it lands. I do not. Um, you can have some branding, uh, some, you can change the sizes of it so it's a bigger, smaller um, you know, uh, video, but it gives you a lot of different cool options um, on there. The final thing I want to address is um, going back, I'm actually going to save this real quick. On the initial um, uh, opt-in screen, I want to make sure that you understand that we have a pop-up that goes on. Um, and I don't think I shared that originally, so I want to make sure that I cover the pop-up. So um, this is the pop-up that you get. Um, and really what we want to do is we want to make sure that we um, are using the things the way that they're supposed to be used properly. So um, again, you can change however you know you want the, the information here. Um, and again, what, what it does, the action, um, you know, you can make sure it links properly. But one thing that I do is I put it into an autoresponder. Very simply, I use um, active campaigns. So what we want to do is with the settings, going back on this pop-up here, <clears throat> in integrations, what we do is we have a lot of different um, options to, uh, and I'll remove it just so we see how it works. So I'm going to um, show, we have MailChimp, EverWebinar, ActiveCampaign. Those are the integrations I've set up. Um, active integration, again, I'm gonna add them to a list, and the list that we're gonna use is gonna be simply the DIY agency. Um, so really what we wanna do is make sure that you are driving them to a, um, to a list so that you can send out an autoresponder uh, after the fact, and we'll get in that a little bit later. But that's it, so that's how you edit this, uh, the, the opt-in, that's how you edit the, um, the rest of the, uh, of the funnel, and uh, you know, make sure that you, um, you know, do the little things, uh, edit and, and change the videos if needed, but like I said, beyond, um, beyond all that, the one major thing that you wanna do is you want to make sure that you change out the um, the link for the affiliate program. So again, when you get into this, the first and foremost thing you want to do is make sure you change out this link. Again, we go into set action and we change that link out with your ClickFunnels affiliate URL so that you get credit for any signups that uh, that you get. All right, guys, looking forward to the next video. Thanks.